uh, Google Stadia kind of sucks. Huh? Google Stadia still sucks two years later, kind of. Let's watch this guy. I'm curious. He piqued my interest. Hello, everybody. What is going on? This is Will here, and today I want to do a video about Google Stadia. What the... We're going to get into kind of what Google Stadia is. I don't want this to be like necessarily a deep dive. And what we're going to do at that point is I'm going to play Stadia. Keep in mind, this is not my first time using the Stadia service. Full disclosure, I've actually used Stadia for almost a year now to play basically one game. <laughs> but there is actually a handful and I'll splice it. Destiny 2. Footage. And then we'll kind of just get into really the meat and potatoes behind it because Stadia is a weird, weird thing. Just for this video, I actually committed to getting my Stadia he's, Pro again for a month. He's so still flipped. I'm going to do that right now. I'm still on the free account. All I have access to is Destiny 2 and a Resident Evil Village demo. That was also free. Now, there is a... But he can he can go to the free selection section. of free games. And actually, okay. before I grab the Pro, I'll, I'll just show that. Yeah, free show games. that first. So th these are the games that you could actually play for free. So, th again, this is where I think actually there's a niche that Stadia could have carved out. Could have. They're the only ones to do it. something I really like. So, well, actually, you know, GFN does it too. I've been getting myself kind of hour. caught up on the backlog of games I've missed over the years. Mainly catching up on like this whole like not just FPS but like looter shooter and like team based shooters that have been popping up in the last you know four or five years. So I've been playing them, or I've been wanting to, until every time I download one of these things, they want to install some stupid root level anti-cheat piece of shit on my computer that spies on everything I do and would leave my computer irreversibly vulnerable <laughs> if I let it fully install and God knows what other kind of backdoors it would leave if I then uninstalled it. It's just a whole thing. It started That's why you use Stadia. That's the whole reason that you would use it. He just gave himself with Valorant and then I tried to do the same thing with Apex and I just, I, was, I wasn't having any of it. The great thing about Stadia is that I'm accessing a remote computer. There you go. So there's like some remote computer instance in a Google data farm somewhere that's hosting the anti-cheat, not me. So I, I like that. <laughs> you know, you're obviously you're not going to play like top tier like MLG. Why not? Obviously, if you're going to do Oops. that, maybe get a dedicated machine, I guess, if you were worried about anti-cheat with that in mind. For the use case of just wanting to just play the game, but not have to install any of that it is kind of like what they said. It's like, oh, the installations are annoying. It's like, well, it's not the installation times. It's what some of these games install on your device. Plus it's the times. Plus so it's all the updates. I would rather just avoid that whole rigmarole. Them. And that's what I can do with Destiny 2. I don't have to download the anti-cheat. Um, but that is kind of the cool thing. Like, if, if you have a Google account, you can just get a Stadia account. And you can just play these games for free through Stadia. This would give you access to playing these games over, like, a Chromebook. Or, like, some kind of, like, Android smart device your phone do we just gotta like revisit this idea of like paying for a streamed game like <laughs> okay so he's his problem is that you have to pay for a game that you don't physically own which is what almost every other console does like you you i mean he's like the uh he's like the old man telling the uh young kid about the good old days i just I wouldn't care about paying for the stream game if it wasn't just the price of a full game. <laughs> okay, we're, we're really starting... But you're paying for the... He's paying for the same content as the full game. I pay about two hard copies of Animal Crossing for the Switch and I bought a digital copy. When I bought the digital copy, it was the same exact price as the physical copy. Which is laughably ironic considering the outrageous prices some of these companies are asking. Might I just add, in the case of something like a team shooter, it's basically just riddled with malware. <laughs> you know? Spyware. Like, hey, you want to install this thing that's going to monitor several facets of your device and pay us $60 to do it? It's like... I mean, the game... Think about... Oh, man. Think, like, just... I was just playing... Uh, what was it? Red Dead Redemption 2. And that game is beautiful i mean it's really nice i'm i haven't played it enough i always wanted to get it when it got cheap enough then i bought it i agree that the games are expensive but i also understand 
that it takes millions, hundreds of millions, billions of dollars to to uh, uh, produce some of these games. Like, actually, go for yourself. If they took away this store or like basically, you know, chopped seventy to eighty percent of the prices on every single one of these games because you're streaming it and you like super super duper don't own it. <laughs> he just said if you chop seventy to eighty percent of the price then maybe and while he's showing a game that shows 76 percent off and 60 percent off <laughs> you know if i was able to play rayman legends over stadia for like regular you know okay so the list of he just cut himself rp now is <laughs> he just cut himself he just cut himself uh 25 dollars for rayman legends if I was able to just buy Rayman Legends wholesale, full price, five bucks on Stadia, sure. Oh, he said five dollars because he saw it was ten dollars right here. But if if it says Pro right here for six twenty four, <laughs> is this funny or, to me? It's a digital game that I have to stream. Sure, if Stadia ever goes to up, I don't have the game anymore. But I paid five bucks for it. <laughs> yeah, you know that to me that model would have made a lot more sense, but. You know, Google's gonna Google, and Google's gonna overprice everything. So. He, he just literally saw the price. Does Google overprice everything? Isn't Google free? Like, almost every service and most products of Google are free. Right? Let's get Stadia Pro, huh? 50 I, just, I just got four for uh what's that premier editions for 2222 games instantly exclusive discounts i can't use any of this because my internet sucks so let's just do this wait but it... bada bing bada boom you guys ain't seeing none of this so he's, he agrees that his internet is Sub not Scribo. good so but he's about boom. to play it we got stadia pro now so take a look at this. Look at how much bigger, I mean, come on now. Some of the selections of free games are a little weird, but look at this selection I have just from having these like handful of months of, of games. Look at all these games that I have. That's bigger um, than my Steam library, I can tell you. I don't know, I don't know if this guy hates, I mean, I guess he says Google Stadia still sucks two years later, kinda that much per personally personally and again there's like some good ones here right like yeah there's some like indies that are just like you know middle shelf right but you didn't pay but, for them you know republic at one point that was big it did kind of hit bargain bins a little quick killer queen uh black is an amazing like uh multiplayer arcade style experience valkyria chronicles 4 you just have the full valkyria chronicles game on here um in the time that i was with pro at least uh, but you're Dark right, Siders, you were pro uh, again. Another pretty cool one. He said, at the time that I was with pro, but he just he just went back to pro in two seconds and has, has access to it again. Bloodstained is cool. You get one of the shanty games. It's the worst one, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, Life is Strange. He's looking uh, for stuff to justify his uh, his um, um, then you get some of the newer ones, title. The Monsters is a new one, I think, just from this month. Uh, Celeste, Wreckfest was another fun one that I played. Um, you know, you get a good selection through the Pro. Uh, it has been slowing down a little bit. I'm confused. Which is, again, kind of the gamble you take with it, but it's been not too bad. Um, yeah, this would be like my preferred platform for playing something like Destiny 2, right? Which again, even on its own is like an old-ish game, right? Like, I mean, this isn't like the hot new thing, but I can play it. I can play it on my phone. I can play it on my Chromebook. I can play it here at the desk, you know? It's pretty cool. As long as there's just a Wi-Fi connection, I can just boot up Destiny 2. Wait, correct me if I'm wrong. It's an online multiplayer. So even if you downloaded the game from Steam, which is free, he still needs internet to play it, right? This is online multiplayer. Because so, he says, oh, if you have a Wi-Fi connection, like it's a exclusively a Stadia thing. Yeah, like a Starbucks or something, you know what I mean? Which is, again, pretty neato. 
Um, the latency is really good on uh, Stadia. You'll see here. Not that I'm, ever, not that I would ever consider myself like a, a bit of a, a sharpshooter by any means, but. Good enough. I'll just grab like all these. My assessment so far is that he wanted a clickbaity type of title. Shooting. There we go. And then had to support. Oh, get running over here. So it doesn't seem like a clickbait. Uh, Hard to support. Destiny 2 also has full crossplay enabled. Um, so all the people running the up around title here are also by playing, like, Xbox. They could be playing on PC. Downing some of the which I down. I mean, I uh, cool. uh, criticize Stadia all the time. And uh, but, but of course you'll. You and know, likewise, I don't make uh, whatever. Across, you know, I don't. I don't players. feel like I need to do any so, clickbaity type of uh, pretty neato. Of videos. Go. Had one little stutter there, which ain't too bad. Um, just for full disclosure, it's not like I have a completely freed up network right now. I'm I'm getting you know a, maybe a handful of stutters over the course of a one or two hour play session, which, whatever, man, that's totally fine. You know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it right here because uh, I don't know. I like, I get it. I get it. Easy uh, Stadia is easy to pick on because it's not perfect, and it's uh, pretty much. Uh, I don't want to say the biggest because I think it seems like GFN is pretty up there as far as user base, but uh, it's it's the biggest company. You know, Google is massive, so it's easy to throw stones that you know something big it's almost like he doesn't want to commit either way if that makes any sense